You, do you have any thoughts on Amsoil? Is that a big scam? I, I don't know that it's a scam. I mean, what, I mean, I, it's got to be pretty good stuff. I mean, I, I mean people don't keep buying them. And it's got to be something great about it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I've, I've, I've had the pitch from Amsoil before, from all those oil From companies. here. And oh, here. they've come in here for sure. They're like, look, it'll do this, and you'll save this much in fuel. And I think some of those big fleet companies that have, you know, like 400 trucks, and you start saving pennies on the gallon for fuel. Okay. I could see them doing it. I mean, if the but then you got to go. Okay, is the money that I'm saving in fuel worth the money I'm paying in oil? Because I mean, basically, with the pitch I got, it's like you can run this oil in your car forever. You just change out the filter, do this and do that and do this. Obviously, smarter people than me, engineers, people who know. I just know what I know, and I know what works, and I stuck with what I knew because I had great results. If I'm buying 1540 Shell oil, whatever it is for diesel, and I'm buying it by the barrel, and I'm buying it for an X number, and I'm good with that, and I know every time I dump it, it's 32 quarts oil in another truck and a friggin' $40 or $50 filter. Um, using synthetic over regular... I'm not, not synthetic. I'm, I am not a proponent of synthetic oil at all, and I'm sure people give me lots of flack for that. Change your oil more often because the dirt's still in the oil. You know what I mean? Dirt's, oil's black, right? When you put it in, it's not black. When okay. it comes out, it's black, right? That means there's dirt's, you know, with his diesel, soot, carbon, whatever. Some sort of carbon base is in the oil. Maybe not dirt from the street, but there's some sort of carbon in there, right, or whatever that's causing the oil to okay. turn black. So... Synthetic oil doesn't break down as fast. It's, you know, obviously they've made it to, you know, that it'll last longer and all these other things. But when I see the oil, it's still black, right? So it still has something in it. So the more often, and I proved it out, I mean, I never put an engine in a tow truck. You know what I mean? When we would take our engines apart, if we had to do an injector or something, all the inside of our engine looks silver. It was all silver. The metal looks silver. We take other people, you've taken people's stuff apart. Yeah. You take their valve cover off and it looks bronze. That's not the way it started. It started silver. I mean, if it's not painted, you know, like a metal. So there's you know. mud in it? Yeah. Well, not even mud. You know when it turns that bronze color? Yeah, I know. And it's just colored, and it doesn't clean off. It's just been baked into the metal. So I'm a proponent of save your money for the synthetic. I don't know what it costs you. And just do your oil change. Like, say, if you do an oil change every 6,000 miles and you use synthetic, and it'll last. But think about this. Anybody who's telling you, any manufacturer who's telling you how long that oil, how to do the oil changes, they're basing on how long they want the engine to last. In other words, if they want this engine to last 250,000 miles, so you know how they drive all those cars around and they test all that mm -hmm. stuff and they change oil, they go, okay, if we change oil at these periods, we're going to get 250,000 miles. We believe that's enough because we'd like you to buy another car or it's going to make the 10-year mark. Okay. And that's what we need.